What's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome back to Atlas Theory, and welcome to our new series, How to Play Star Atlas. In this first episode, we'll be going over profile creation and faction selection. So let's get into it. So of course, guys, the first thing you're going to need is a wallet. I recommend Phantom. I'll leave the link down in the description. This is actually what your profile will be tied to is your wallet. So yeah, make sure you have a Solana based wallet and let's start, uh, let's start our profile creation. So over on play.staratlas.com, there's going to be a connect wallet down in the lower left hand side. So we're gonna just hit that connect our phantom wallet and uh, we'll be able to sign in. So let's do that. So as you guys can see, I just connected my wallet and uh, this choose faction popped up. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that to start our creation. So as we see, we have the three big ones, well, the three only ones here. <laughs> we have the Mud Territory, uh, Firepower in Industries, Ushter Sector, which is Whole Strength and Exploratory, and the Oni Region, which is Diplomatic and Technological. So three great things to choose from. It's really, really hard to choose. Um, if you plan on joining a DAC or a Guild, um, I would I would suggest that uh, go in, see what they choose, and um, pick that one because right now Dax and guilds are really heavily tied to factions, so you will need to be the same faction to uh, play with your guild members. So um, yeah, definitely go check that out. Um, if you're going to plan on joining mine, we chose Mud to be able to play with our allies, Interstellar Alliance, and uh, Final Frontier. If you want to know more about each faction you can actually click on them and they'll give a little bit of uh, information about why you might want to choose this faction for instance on each of them it actually gives local resources and tells you what the resources are good for um, for like manufacturing process for distance okay so mud is going to be really good at firepower and distance um, but if we go back here we we get a new selection of three so nine like local resources spread out over the three factions and yeah i would just spend some time reading over all this this is really uh really cool stuff this spiritual plane here makes me want to play ushtar really bad and i believe we can still be a different race or any race within any faction so hopefully that still holds true so yeah you're just going to go ahead and choose your faction let's say for this one i'm going to uh, for this wallet, I'm going to choose Ushtar. Just click the choose down here. And then it's going to come up with the, are you sure you want to choose? Your faction choice is permanent. This is why, like, this is such a hard uh, thing to choose right now at this state of everything because it is a permanent thing. You cannot change it. So um, some people are creating multiple wallets and choosing um, all three so that they can like have more time to kind of see and know where they put their resources but really guys just the more time spent in one profile is going to be very beneficial is uh what's been said so yes we're going to choose it for this wallet so guys i had a little bit of trouble signing in with that wallet so i signed in with my main one currently my uh webcam is blocking the most sensitive information just a little bit of like uh wallet address and uh net worth so <laughs> those are blocked right now, but you will see those when you sign in. As you can see over on the right, I have chosen the mud faction. Uh, faction rank, I'm 128th. Um, here you can select your country of origin. Just a lot of cool stuff. So you have your top assets listing. I'm going a little heavy on fashion at the moment. Um, and then, yeah, you can edit avatars. So one thing to uh, keep in mind is that two things are not yet available. Number one is gonna be this organization here. This is gonna be your DAC or your guild. And uh, number two is going to be your um, player name or in-game name. Now you can just use your wallet and to connect, but I think many of us will want our own uh, names to own in the Star Atlas universe. So that's going to be coming, both of those in the future. They'll probably talk about it in this week's town hall on Friday. So uh, make sure you tune into that. But yeah, guys, this is a basic profile and uh, faction selection. Uh, uh, really easy process, but um, but really exciting at the same time. Like 
it may not seem like much, but this is like a big part of metaverse history. And uh, a lot of us were uh, expressing last night at 4 a.m. I got up <laughs> just like how grateful we were to be here with with each other. And um, yeah, it's uh, this is the start of something crazy. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. This is the first episode of How to Play Star Atlas. Every time they release something for the mini game or full game, we'll be covering it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of that. And uh, yeah, I'll actually see you guys in a few hours for a trailer reaction. This is the first trailer. Excited for that. Keep an eye out for that uh, video. So see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.